at those trees. So cool, so beautiful. And you know what? It's making me hungry. You ready to try and do some dinner? Let's do it. David, aka RV Jedi, and when I am out on the road in my RV, I love to chef it up. You know my motto, no need to eat poorly when you're on the road. Now, it's a philosophy I live by because there's no reason to not have fun when you're out there on the road. You know, you can eat and have good meals all from your RV uh, and definitely out on the grill. One of the things I always try to do when I chef it up on the road and I share my food with you guys is I try to come up with fun, unique, and easy things to do. I mean, you don't want to spend all of your time cooking when you're RVing. You want to get out there, enjoy, and just relax but it's still fun to go do something. Now, this year, this season, uh, I've got some new things that are coming up for this uh, YouTube channel, especially when it comes to cooking. As you may or may not have known, my old grill, well, last season, bit the dust. Well, it's a sad day. It's the end of the era for my grill. Time to take it out to pasture. Just remember all those good days. So this season, I will have a new grill in the mix. I'll share that with you in just a little bit. And I'm gonna try to do some new things. I'm already meal prepping for this season. You know, I try to do stuff that's fun, unique, and, and unusual. Stuff like this. Hey everybody, David AKA RV Jedi, and I love pizza. No matter where I am, I'm always checking out trying to find the best pizza joint around. Now, normally I like New York style. Grew up in Massachusetts. We're just outside of Boston, a place called Brookline. And that's where I grew up eating pizza. Love it that way. But I'm not such a snob that I don't like and appreciate Chicago deep dish pizza. Uh, I have uh, relatives and family in Chicago, uh, spent a lot of time there during the summer and enjoy that type of pizza as well. So uh, being on the road, I decided I'm going to try a variation of the two. We're going to try to do a deep dish style pizza on the grill in a cast iron skillet right now. But first things first, we've got to start with getting the dough ready. So let's go ahead and make the dough. To make your dough, you want to start with some yeast that we're going to put into a little bowl. We're going to add some sugar because the uh, yeast has to eat something, uh, and that's what they're going to do with the sugar. Uh, and then you're going to take a little warm water, uh, pour it in, and then take a fork, mix it up a little bit, let it set, and let the yeast bloom. Once the yeast has bloomed and it is ready uh, to add to the dough, uh, you're going to first start by placing some uh, flour into a bowl. Uh, and of course, I'll put a, a full link on how to do all of this uh, down below. Uh, you're going to add some salt uh, to the flour. Uh, you want to get that in there. Uh, you're going to start some water. You want to get that warm. Uh, mix up your uh, yeast and water there and then you're going to add some more water uh, to the mixture and start getting it ready getting the dough ready I like to add a little olive oil in as well uh, and then mix it all up uh, till it comes to a consistency uh, that you can then take and roll out and start uh, forming your dough Liking the content you're seeing on the channel, please click and subscribe, hit that bell notification. That way, whenever a new video comes out, you'll be notified right away.
So once the dough is kind of pulling away uh, from the bowl, that's when it's time to get it out onto a surface and roll it out. In this case, I'm using uh, my cutting board. I'm gonna dust the cutting board with some uh, additional flour. Uh, and then I'm gonna take the uh, dough, roll it out there, and you wanna get it into a nice, tight little ball uh, because you're gonna take that and put it back into the bowl uh, to let it rest and rise. So you've got the dough in your bowl. You want to cover it uh, with a wet uh, cloth and let it sit for a while. I like to usually let it go for about one or two hours. Okay, so the dough is in the fridge now. It'll rest there for a little while. Uh, we'll get to that in just a little bit, but now we want to start the sauce. We're going to do it as a cold sauce, so basically we'll use the uh, sauce right now. We're not going to cook it. We'll add our spices and things like that, let that marinate for a while, uh, and then we'll use a little bit of the sauce with some sausage and pepperoni, uh, and we'll leave a little bit of the reserve sauce out so that we can add that into the deep dish when we put it all together. So. Let's go ahead and bake that sauce. So this is a pretty easy sauce to make. I'm gonna use some crushed uh, tomatoes. You can use any uh, brand you like. Uh, just wanna get it all uh, into the bowl. Uh, and then it's just about adding some spices uh, to make everything uh, a taste pretty or special. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, some salt and pepper uh, initially to get in there. Uh, you just wanna crank it in. I use the uh, crank so you can get fresh salt and pepper there. Uh, then after that, uh, it's about uh, adding some basil or basil. Uh, and then you're also gonna add some oregano. Uh, and of course, uh, you want to make sure that you get uh, your garlic powder in there as well. Garlic powder goes with everything uh, and you want to get that in a nice healthy amount uh, of garlic powder into your sauce. Uh, and then basically you just want to mix everything up. Uh, give it some time to sit and meld those flavors together. Uh, and then you've got your sauce ready to go uh, for now and uh, you can store some of this for later. Mmm, tastes good. Time to get your filling ready for your pizza. Uh, and it's gonna start with uh, some sausage. Uh, you just warm up some olive oil in a pan, uh, add the sausage right away, uh, and then you wanna start to cook that down. Uh, I'm using pre-made sauces. Sometimes I'll make my own, but in this case, it's just kind of pre-made. Uh, we'll get it into the pan, mix it up, uh, and then we'll start to add some other things to it in just a bit. Now, as the sausage is going, I'm gonna take some of the uh, sauce that we made earlier, add it to the pan uh, and cook it down with the sausage to get a little bit more flavor in there. That's gonna be part of the filling uh, for the deep dish pizza. So it's time to put all of this together. The grill is hot and it's going. Uh, most of the coals are to the back of the grill because the way the pan goes in, you wanna make sure that there's uh, heat on that side, uh, less heat on the back. I'll show you that in just a little bit. Uh, we have the frying pan going. I uh, just wanna warm it up a little bit with some butter in there. Then we're going to put in the uh, dough, uh, followed by the cheese the filling, and then the sauce, and then get all of that onto the grill and let it start baking. 
So this is what I'm talking about in terms of getting some butter uh, onto your pan. You wanna heat that pan up a little bit uh, and then you wanna get some butter in there. You wanna melt it. You wanna make sure it's nice and spread out evenly. And then once the butter has kind of set and you're, you're able to uh, take it off of the flames, you wanna wipe it around. Make sure you get the edges of your pan because that's really critical because this is a deep dish pizza so your dough is going to go high up on the edge uh, and you're going to want to put that in so you take the dough out uh, you roll it out a little bit and then you start to stretch it. Now, this is not quite like I would do it at home because of course at home you have higher ceilings, you can flow it or throw it around a little bit. I am gonna try a, a little pizza toss here for you uh, just to show you how you do it. And boom, there you go, boom, there it is, nice. Just like eating at an Italian restaurant. Uh, but the secret really is you wanna get your dough uh, evenly uh, spread out as you make sure it's ready to go into the pan. And then uh, you're gonna put it into the pan and the key is making sure it goes up all of the edges because you're basically creating a pie crust here. This is, uh, of course, a deep dish pizza, and so you want it all up into the sides, the nooks and crannies, all the way to the top before you start putting in your filling. And remember, it's deep dish, so you're kind of going backwards when it comes to putting your filling uh, into your pie. Now, in most uh, regular pizzas, you'd put the sauce down and then you put the cheese and then you'd put your filling and stuff on top of it. In this a deep dish, it's reversed. So you're gonna start with getting your cheese down. I'm using fresh mozzarella and putting it down as a base uh, all the way around. I, I like a nice cheesy base. So you wanna make sure uh, that it is uh, done really nicely here. Lots going in. Uh, and then once I have enough uh, cheese down and I feel it's at a, at a good point uh, I'm going to add uh, some pepperoni because uh, I want to make sure that there's some pepperoni in there um, add that uh, to the pizza uh, and then I'm going to add the sauce uh, which has some of the sausage in it um, so first the sausage and uh, sauce there and get that in uh, and then I'm going to top it off with some more sauce uh, and essentially that's it that's how i'm gonna fill the pizza very much like a pie and uh, a hence a pizza pie uh you want to get it all uh into all of the sides and make it even uh, and then it's going to be ready to take this bad boy and put it on the grill see and this is what i'm talking about you got most of the hot coals in the back that's where it's going to sit when i put in the grill Now all we can do is wait. I'm gonna cook that about a half hour and then check it then. Hopefully this works. <laughs> take a look at the pizza oh yeah that looks good I'm gonna let it stay in there for a little bit longer to get nice and deep dishy now that is one good looking pie done on the grill um, once you take it off you really want to give it some time to rest a little bit before you cut it. But look at that. Uh, it's got a little crushed red peppers on top. It's pretty. Time to rest. Man, I remember that pizza. It was really, really good. Uh, and it was the first time I did pizza on the grill uh, out on the road. And it turned out fantastic. 
So as I get ready for the upcoming season and start thinking about what I want to cook while I'm out on the road, uh, this is my time to check in with you to see what you want to see. Do you even like these videos? Do you want to see me cook something particular? Is there a protein that you want me to use? Do you think we should do kind of a chopped situation where you guys get to choose, you know, the proteins and a couple of things and then I got to figure out how to cook it up? Uh, let me know in the comments below uh, because I am want to make this uh, a kind of a two-way street and have it unique and, and, and be fun for all of us as we uh, go through RVing no matter where you're at. So make sure you share all your comments about cooking in the RV. Uh, let me know what you want to see from me this year uh, as I get ready to go out on the road. So that's going to do it right now for me. Make sure you follow me all over social media at RV Jedi. And then, of course, you can follow me on the blog at RVJedi.com. Get out there, and when you're on the road, remember, no need to eat poorly in your RV. You can have a blast and chef it up just like me. We'll see you next time.